Hi guys, welcome to this new tutorial about retro games on Raspberry Pi 4. As you know, we can use different software for playing our retro games. The most used ones are RetroPie, Batocera, Recalbox, and Laka. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to install RetroPie, and now it's time to find out about Batocera. Let's start with downloading on your PC the Batocera's image file from the official website, batocera.org slash download. Let's scroll to find out the right version for Raspberry Pi 4B. Now we are going to need Raspberry Pi Imager to flash the SD card, so insert the SD card in your computer and format it using FAT32. 8 gigabyte is the minimum required, but 16 gigabyte and above is recommended for full functionality. If you don't have Raspberry Pi Imager already installed, go to raspberrypi.com slash software, download the right version for your OS, and install it. Let's run Raspberry Pi Imager, and from the operating system item, scroll down, select Use Custom, and select the Batocera's image we've just downloaded. Now from the storage item, let's select the SD card inserted in your PC and click right. The process will take some time, so we wait patiently for the writing and verifying to finish. At the end of the process, Windows could ask you to format the drive, so cancel this request and remove the SD card. Now insert the SD card in your Raspberry Pi. Connect the game controller and a keyboard and switch on the PI. The keyboard can be useful, just in case Batocera wouldn't automatically recognize your game controller. After that, we will finally see the home page. My game controller was automatically recognized and configurated by the system. If not, press the bar on your keyboard and select controller and Bluetooth settings, and then controller mapping. Your gamepad should be detected, so hold a button to start the configuration. Click on the right buttons of your controller as showed in the screen. Are you ready to play? No, it's still too early. Before that, we need to add some games and the required missing BIOS. Like some games, lots of BIOS cannot be distributed with Batakura because they are copyrighted. So you need to download them by yourself. Remember that doing that could be illegal in some countries. After finding ROM games and the right BIOS for your Batacera version, we can copy them in the right folders. How to do that? It's pretty simple. We can connect our PC to our Raspberry Pi through our Wi-Fi network. So from our main menu, select Network Setting, press on Enable Wi-Fi, then select your Wi-Fi network from Wi-Fi SSD, and in the end, insert your Wi-Fi key. Let's press on Back and our PI will be online. Let's take note of our IP address. It will be useful for the next step. Let's open up a file explorer, and from the very top, we're going to type in backslash backslash and our PI4 IP address. Press Enter, and as long as our PC and the PI4 are on the same network, we will see a folder called Share. Now we are connected to our PI, and if we press Enter, we can see our BIOS folder and our ROMs folder as well. As stated before, we can't show how to find ROMs games, However, I suppose you can find them surfing on internet very easily, as well as the collection of missing BIOS for our version of Batacara. Now let's copy the ROM in the right emulators folders. Then let's copy our new BIOS to the BIOS folder. Right now I am curious to explore if Batocera have recognized our new added games. So from the main menu, let's click on Update Game List. Yes, I really want it. And we are ready to find out our new games. As you can see, the thumbnails of our games are really ugly and boring. But we can fix them using the scraping method. How does it work? Well, it's very simple. Selecting Scraper from the main menu. We can automatically download from specific websites the covers of our games, plus videos and more information. Batocera's menu allow us to scrape from Arcade Database, the game DB, or Screen Scraper. Remember that before scraping, you need to create a free account in the chosen websites. 
Let's check our BIOS as well, clicking on Game Settings and Missing BIOS Check. If you found on internet the right BIOS collection set, you should receive the message, No Missing BIOS File. We are ready to play, but I am not very satisfied with the UX. I'd love a different graphic interface. From the main menu, let's navigate to User Interface Setting and clicking on Theme Set, we can see only one available theme. We need to find a nicer one to add to our collection. There are two methods to do that. Let's try the first. From the main menu, navigate to Update and Downloads, then press Themes. As you can see, we have a list we can choose from, so we are going to select Artflix. On the very top, in the right corner, we can see the download process. As it's done, we can select the Artflix theme. Let's try a second method to update our theme collection. Some dev create their themes and share the links to GitHub, so we could need to install them manually. As an example, we are going to install a beautiful theme called Retro-Rama from this link, githubcom slash lipbello slash es dash theme dash retro a Click on code and download zip. After the unzip process, let's come back to the share. Let's click on it and copy our new theme folder in the themes folder of our PI4. As shown before, let's select our Retro-Rama theme. And here's the new user interface. Okay, we have finished and we can start playing. I hope this tutorial would be useful. If yes, please subscribe the channel for more tutorial. See you 